Okay, in this example here, we need to calculate the markup and then express it as a percentage to two decimal places. I've got a table here with some selling prices and cost prices, and I know that the selling price is equal to the cost plus the marker multiplied by 1.1. So what I need to do is I need to fill in the gaps with this formula that I've got here. I know that the selling price, for example, for the first one is $450. And that's equal to the cost price, which is $360, plus markup, which I'll just write as MU, times 1.1. Okay, so I'm trying to get the markup price by itself. So to do that, I need to get rid of the 1.1 and the 360. I'm going to start that by dividing both sides by 1.1, because the opposite of multiplying by 1.1 is dividing by 1.1. So if I do that, and that will cancel out on that side. And over here, if I divide that by 1.1, 450 divided by 1.1, 409.09. nine cents equals 360 plus the markup. So now to get the markup by itself, I need to subtract 360 from both sides. If I do that, the 360 on the right will go away. And over here I have $409.09. $409.09. Take 360 equals the markup. So the markup will be equal to $49.09. Now I need to find this as a percentage of the cost of the item. So the cost price is $360. So to find it as a percentage, I do 49.09 divided by the cost price. So I should really write that markup over cost. Cost price of $360. 49.09 divided by 360 equals 0.1. One, three, six, three, six. Now, that's as a decimal, and you should know by now that to change from a decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100, and that's as simple as just moving the decimal place over two places. So that equals 13.636%. Put decimal in, 0.636%. It's asking for the answer to two decimal places. So you'll note before I did actually put it right down 13636. I didn't stop at the three because I knew that I'd have to round this off. So that's equaling to 13.64%. That is the marker as a percentage of the cost price.